Okay, well, it's um, 5.45 and I did the first video at 9 o'clock this morning, thinking I was going to get like a lot of progress done, but I didn't. I, I started and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get my mojo going. I started in the beginning, got it going, and I started with the with the turtle and I went, screw that, I'm just gonna do that later because I just couldn't get into it. I said, okay, I'll just lay down the, the kelp right now. And I actually got my, um, my, my sketch out and I marked it out with my little pastel crayon thingies. And then I started with you know, kind of like a solid color paint and I didn't like it being solid because I always think of sea kelp being kind of like translucent and being able like to catch the sunlight underneath and you can like see through it. I couldn't figure out how I was gonna do that. So I went to the art supply store and I wanted to get this stuff called, um, it's kind of like a pouring fluid. It just kind of like, it's, it's like this gel kind of stuff that like thins out the paint, but it keeps it like glistening and it just makes it like really translucent. And they didn't have any, I was so mad. It's like our local Michael stores is like not stocking their shelves right now. And I keep asking them if they're gonna bring this stuff back in. So I wound up using the very last of my blending gel. And what that did is it brought, it kept the background the same, but it, it still brought in the, um, the kelp strips here. And then I brought in like those, I don't know what you call those things. It's like the things where, you know, you pull out a big piece of kelp and it's the ball and it has like another little feathery thing there. And like your first like thing to do is like, oh, like squish that ball, kind of like, what is that? Pop, packing paper where you like pop, pop, pop. It's like, you ever want to just go squeeze that kelp ball? I don't know, I always did. So anyway, so I have that in there, and, and I could actually, it worked, because I could see through the kelp strip, I'm sure that's not the right name for it, and um, I think what I need to do, like, a little bit later is try and get some, like, more white-ish, orangey in here, so you might be able to see that it's actually sun coming down. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, maybe, maybe not. And see, what else did I do? Um, I wanted to see how much more in the background I needed to do, so I just put more of these like little teeny markings in there, and I'm kind of happy with the way that it is, so I don't think I'm gonna go in here and do anything else. I think my next step is I'm gonna leave that alone until I, I don't wanna mess it up. I've already messed it up like three times today. I'm gonna work on my sea turtle tomorrow because I somehow I got, I got lost today. Um, my brain was somewhere else and I, I, I took a trip to the art supply store, came home, I'm like, geez, I could play, I had lunch, I grabbed a beer, I sat outside, and boy, was that beer good. I went to go grab another beer and it was the last one. I'm like, ah, no, it's a hot sunny day, you need at least two. So this is, um, this is about three hours worth of work that I did today. So the next video, hopefully we'll have a little bit more of a progression. I thought today I would have had at least the turtle done, but you know, you never know. So right now it's, it's dinner time and I think I need to go to the store and get some more beer because it's still flipping hot outside. All right. So. I don't know if I'm gonna work on this tomorrow. I think since it's Monday and the crowds will be off the beach and it's still gonna be hot and the waves are still kind of big, I should have gone surfing today. Anyway, but I didn't. All right, so there'll be another one.